Okay, this is the temporal bone. You can see it fits over like this. Okay, right here is the mastoid process. You can see it here. The external acoustic meatus, which is also here. The zygomatic process. Zygomatic process. The squamous portion. And the, you can't see the carotid canal or the jugular foramen on this, but you can see it here. The carotid canal. And then underneath bigger is the jugular foramen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can see the. See here is the mandibular fossa. You can see the groove in here, mm -hmm. mandibular fossa. You go in. Here's the petrous portion. So you would see it like this mm -hmm. inside. Petrous portion. Here's the internal acoustic meatus. Mm -hmm. Internal. Internal acoustic meat is so oh, so here. It's actually like this on this side. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Good. Okay. Here's the ethmoid bone, and it would fit in the skull like this. And here you have the crystal crista galli, which you can also see here poking out. Then you have the perpendicular plate, this here right in the middle, and then you have the cristiform plate here, which would be on either side of the crystal galley, and then you have the nasal concha, middle nasal concha. Okay, this is the sphenoid bone, and it fits inside the, like this, okay? So then you have the greater wings, the lesser wings. Right here in the middle is the cella turnica. And then, did you get that? And then in here is the optic canals. And then here you have the superior orbital fissure. Mm -hmm. You can see the inferior orbital fissure right here. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. And then these three foramen. There's a, the top one is the foramen rotundum. This bigger one that looks like an oval is the foramen ovale. And this little one here is the foramen spinosum. And on the back here, you have the pterygoid processes. And these holes are the sphenoid sinuses. Oh, and also in the cella turnica, that's where the pituitary gland would sit. Okay. Precious. This is the mandible. This is the body of the mandible, the angle of the mandible, the ramus of the mandible. This hole is the mandibular foramen. Here is the coronoid process. Here is the condylar process. Okay. So you have the coronal suture, the sagittal suture, the lambdoid suture, and the squamous suture. And then you have the frontal bone, two parietal bones, the occipital bone, and the two temporal bones on either side. And then here is the nasal bone, uh, the zygomatic bone, the maxilla bone, and the mandible. Uh, here is the uh, supraorbital super, super foramen. 
here where the eyebrows would be is the superciliary arch. Um, okay. Here is the mastoid process. These are the occipital condyles, magnum for Raymond, external meatus. Squamous portion. The styloid process should be here, but it's not, it broke off, but it's a sharp point that sticks out. And then you have the carotid canal going this way, and the jugular foramen going that way, and underneath. Here, where if the mandible was gone, is the mandibular fossa. Um, inside, you have the sphenoid bone. Here's the oh, here's the petrous portion, which would hold the auditory ossicle bones, the internal auditory meatus and on the sphenoid bone you have the greater wings the lesser wings the stella tersica which holds the pituitary gland and you have the um, superior orbital fissure mm -hmm. there here you have the Foramen rotundum. Here you have the foramen ovale. Which one is it? This this is the bigger one. It looks like an oval. So see? inside the whole thing. Mm -hmm, this whole hole. Okay. Is the, and the small hole underneath that is the foramen spinosa. And this hole right here. Mm -hmm. Optic canal. In here, this hole here mm -hmm. is the inferior orbital fissure. You can see the crystal crista galli and the um, crista form plate would be here on either side. Um, 